Guys, let's take a quick look at Kauti here. I uh, just want to make an announcement though before I start. I will be leaving on vacation tomorrow for five weeks, but I will make some videos, of course, through my vacation. But the next nine days or so, we will be traveling uh, through Boston and New Jersey and Washington, D.C., so, um, and then down to North Carolina where my parents live. Uh, anyways, guys, just want to make that announcement. I don't know how many videos I'm going to make during that time. I will try to make at least some YouTube shorts, maybe, if there's anything going on. But uh, yeah, let's take a quick look at Cotty here. Uh, now, you can see I have drawn this trend line. Um, and this trend line extends back uh, all the way, well, it's, it's really long, actually. Um, since February, basically, I've drawn this line down. And right now, it looks like we're coming to test this trend line. Now, okay, we did break out of it and fall back in it, and that can happen. Um, you know, trend lines aren't perfect all the time, but I can say that it looks like it will break out of this trend today. <clears throat> if it does that, that's a good thing. Uh, we'll see if it can hold. It needs to probably hold. I'll put my mark here at about, let's just say nine and a half cents. If it, if it uh, breaks out of, you know, nine and a half cents, uh, I do see the next, you know, level uh, at about 10.7 cents, uh, which is a daily resistance. And then you have 12.3 cents, which is a daily resistance as well. Uh, the next weekly resistance is up here at about 13.4 cents. So let's see what happens. Now, Bitcoin, on the other hand, <clears throat> as I said uh, in my video the last couple of days, uh, I do expect that Bitcoin will, you know, get back above this weekly support 61.3. And it has done that today. It's about 400 bucks above at least or 500 bucks. Let's see if it can hold that today. Now, this is the daily time frame. Keep in mind. But if I put it on the weekly, you will see if I zoom in it. It is, you know, holding this as support at the moment. So let me go back to the daily. Um, now, guys, we are at a point where this trend line is either going to be broken and we're going to go to the upside or it's going to go to the downside. Now, we don't have much support below us. As I said before, the support is very thin. We only have this daily at about 60.2 and then we got the the we can say the bottom of this Fibonacci that we're in, or we got the top of this Fibonacci basically. And, uh, you know, let's see what it does. Um, I do hope we break to the upside, but we do have three dailies that we have to uh, break during this time. We have uh, 62.4, we got 63.1, and we got 63.8 before we reach the next weekly resistance at 64.8, let's say. Uh, economic calendar basically, uh, is Monday that we have a lot of ISM, you know, manufacturing and, and PMI and things like this. Tuesday, uh, European Union does have the CPI. Uh, we also have the JOLTS job openings on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have the challenge of job cuts, uh, which is very important. And we have continuing jobless claims and things like this. Also, ADP non-farm non employment. Uh, that's important. Uh, we also have, well, it looks like some, you know, employment and manufacturing again also as well. Uh, Thursday, it, I think Thursday is pretty much a dead day. But Friday, basically, we have non-farm payrolls. We got manufacturing payrolls and things like this, unemployment rate. So all of this is pretty much important. So anyways, guys, uh, that's all I got for you uh, concerning Kauti. Let's see if it breaks out here. Um, and Bitcoin at the moment, it is holding uh, 61.3 basically. So that's a good thing. But now we need to get past this trend line. Anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.